Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about OpenSense and a new product that I'm excited to play with, Zen Armor. All right, that's right. Anyway, what is Zen Armor? Well, Zen Armor is there to protect you. It's a, like a next generation firewall plugin for OpenSense. So let's check it out. Okay. All right. Boom. So here's the Zen Armor website. Go ahead and click start for free. And so free edition, we're gonna choose OpenSense. We're gonna to go to the console on here, OpenSense and install this stuff and then we'll register, right? Excellent. So let's just go ahead and do that. Boom, so here we are. First things first, we need to do is start out in our dashboard, right? And then you're gonna to go to system and firmware and plugins, right? So plugins, now we're gonna look for the, the OS Sunny Valley, right? So scroll down here to OS, and there it is. Do you see that right there? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click the plus on install of that. So this is gonna go ahead and install this guy. And that's that, easy peasy. So now we're gonna go back over here. So we did this part. And now we're going to look at this open sensing. Scroll on down and find that guy. And here we have three of them right here. So then the question is, do I want to install them all? Well, I think we probably do. All right, so let's go to the dashboard over here. And boom, so now we have the Welcome, and we're gonna go through the wizard, right? Right? You know, of course, you've got to check this box to say, hey, you know what? I, I read this. Let's go to proceed. All right, checking your hardware to see if Sin Armor is successful. Running, and so far, so good. Okay, looky there. As you may know, this is a uh, an old AMD chip that was for uh, the, the PC engines. Uh, PF Sense a long time ago. That's actually a Netgate version of it. Uh, and so it does meet the uh, specifications, looks like. Get a little yellow check marks. So it, it says it's low end, which, you know, no worries though. You can still run Zen Armor on this. So that's good. And you don't get much lower end than this, right? Uh, unless you're going to the ARM based one. So well, let's go ahead and hit next. How do we want to do this? We want to install this using a local MongoDB, remote elastic search DB, local SQLite. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the local MongoDB. Um, and the reason why I'm gonna do that is, well, I like MongoDB. Okay, that's done. Now let's hit next. Here's where we get into some question and deployment mode. I think that I'm going to go ahead and just leave this at this pre-selected one. And then we're gonna come down here to interfaces. We've got a couple different interfaces set up. And so we need to choose which interfaces we wanna protect. So LAN, we're gonna protect this. Um, we're gonna leave that one off. So this is our video and then our, our, our LAN. So that we're gonna protect. Hit next. Okay, so cloud, cloud reputation, web categorization. Um, so here we're going to take a look at this and see what we want to do. So enable that. Um, sure, it's already enabled. Clear cache, I guess we don't need to do that. Um, local domains excluded from the cloud queries. Um, so if we wanted to put something like um, get me the key.com in there, since that's my domain, um, reputation servers, U.S., Central, East, these are checked. You know, we're mostly in the Central area, so that's why those are checked, I assume. And we're gonna go ahead and hit Next. So now, updates and health check. Uh, check for updates, well, that's a good idea to have that on. Automatically update database, that's also a good idea. And enable engine core file generation. So, no idea what that is. Um, Allows the operating system to create a core file. All right, 
So we're going to leave that off. Swap space, 60% of swap space. Okay, we're going to leave that just as default. Uh, health check enabled, enabled, enabled. We're going to leave these just default enabled. And now it's deployment size. Okay, so MongoDB, home, small network, small network two, maximum current users. We're going to just leave it at that, 15. We're going to go ahead and hit next. And then almost done, sign up. All right, saving that guy, finishing it up and see what happens. Now, after this, I believe I'm going to have to go to the, the web. But we'll see. Okay, it says done. Refresh page. Maybe I go to my account. Okay. All right. Here it is. My account. So we're going to sign up. I'm going to put my information in here and we'll be right back. All right. So here we are. We're logged in and I have this um, projects, no firewalls, reports, sessions, and all this stuff, settings. And so now I've got to figure out how to get my firewall connected to this. Now, maybe there's a uh, way to check it in here. Maybe I come down here and turn this cloud agent on, start this cloud agent. I'm not entirely certain. Um, maybe it's under configuration. Cloud management folder. And so enable cloud management. Oh, it showed up this time. Okay, so apparently I had to log back out and log back in. All right, so there we have it. Now we're in the we're in the we're in the cloud portal for this. Um, so that looks very similar to this, with a bunch of stuff going on. Um, and yeah, so it's in, it's done, it's up and running, and we got all these things going. Now what do I do with it? Well, I really don't know because I haven't used this product, but. I'm excited for the next video when I've had a chance to play around with this and can go ahead and get things going and figure out what it can do for me. So, okay, that was install, installing Zen Armor, cloud management console for that. It seems pretty cool. It's very pretty. I love it. Uh, I am so excited to figure out what I can do with this now that I've got it installed and see what it does for me. All right, so that's all there is to getting Sensei uh, Zen Armor set up on your OpenSense. And if you got anything out of this video, go ahead and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.